Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Today is uh, Saturday. It's uh, another awesome day because um, the other day I got another ad like in. And if you remember from, or if you've seen the last video I did on one of these where I finally took one of these apart, um, this was a single lever piece. And I figured that. Um, they would all be basically like that. Well, the barrel is different on this one. It's um, wider, so that's one difference. This one doesn't have the offset keyway, which uh, this this one right here did, and it's an entirely different locking mechanism. Um, if you look down in there, that very bottom latch, there's another lever over here it's anchored on this side that goes all the way over here to this side. I don't know if you can see it down there. Um, and this is kind of a cam toggle type of mechanism. So this first thing that you spring up against, it, it takes a bit of force, but it's not, it's not real heavy. I'd say about you know, like three or four pounds of force. But this last, turn that you do oh man i take 25 pounds or more of pressure so <clears throat> whatever you've got has got to be pretty damn strong to lever against that if you look up in here it's kind of a toggle mechanism um there's a notch cut out that this little thing pivots again against so this is kind of a two-piece mechanism where when you lever that one thing up, you're in, you finally engage that one spot where it can roll back into this notch. And there are those strong springs in there. Now this is held captive by this thing. So it's not a captive key. You can remove this. And it's kind of like a mousetrap type thing, spring loaded. So that when you push down on this, you have to push pretty hard to close it but it closes so i've been able to get a i just tried a, a tension wrench um an allen wrench in there you know basically and i can get that first one levered up pretty easily but i'm gonna need something stronger to get in here and um i got some let me see if i can find them over here excuse me i didn't go to the dollar store but i went to the grocery store and I looked in their cooking section and they had some uh, skewers but these are pretty cool because they're flat they're flat skewers so those are about like a, less than two dollars set of six of them 12 inch so I might try to make a, a pick wire out of that but this may not even be strong enough for that anyway I just want to share with you that uh, not all locks are the are the same uh, even if you think you figured them out, the manufacturer, you know, may just go through a different change. I thought it was just going to be they, they're relying on the warding, you know, or the shape of the, of the keyway for the different brands. But there actually can be a different locking mechanism inside. And when you're dealing with these things, you're going to need something strong. I believe it was Shewitt, uh recommended, you know, using an Allen wrench. And, you know, that's a pretty good idea because those are pretty strong. And like I said, I've got a box of Allen wrenches in here, you know. Various ones. And uh, I'm going to dig through there and look. I was kind of messing around with it. You, you still have to get the right diameter right here. Or I can take one of those flat wires and... Uh, one to lever it up you know in position and another one to um, twist it back but we'll see I'll, I'll see about picking that but these are pretty cool um i think this one's the key says uh burlington northern railroad that's a barrel key and uh, brass pretty cool these locks right here railroad locks adlegs klein stuff like that um, average 20 something dollars 
on average. And if it's got a key, you can double that price easily. I've seen keys alone go for over $300, or ask for over $300. I don't know if they sell them for that amount. Um, they average about like $10. But anything that says railroad on it and stuff, man, you're going to have people that uh, collect that stuff. Just They're not even lot collectors a lot of times. They just collect railroad memorabilia and stuff. So you're competing with higher prices usually on everything. Anyways, I just want to share that with you. This is uh, a pretty cool mechanism. Uh, they're fairly wide open. You can. This is where the chain goes. But even if there isn't uh, a chain in there, you can use that for inspection, you know, to shine your light in there and figure out how you want to attack the mechanism. It really relies on those, like, mouse trap type of springs um, on it. You know, the really strong pressure to to lever back because like i said even on this one you push back it's like man that's a lot of force and this one's pretty close to the lever point you know right here it's pretty close you could you know this one would be easier to pick open than uh, this one i believe but i'm not going to drill this one open or anything because it's got a working key and i happen to get it for a fairly decent price compared to what they asked for but they can go for hundreds of dollars i've seen them ask for you know the locks and the keys alone and stuff can go for quite a bit of money but it's just another area where you can get obsessed with and collect all different kinds of brands and stuff and types um but i just wanted to share that with you uh what i got and um got it on ebay and fun with locks oh oh and one more thing i just wanted to show you my board i got some hooks for it so i can put locks up there and everything and i can change it around you know i can take off the different locks and put other ones up there and i'm gonna get some more hooks and stuff but it's not bad um for the amount of money i've put into it which is uh, the hooks so far uh i think the screws yeah i got those out of the dumpster that big dumpster dive operation that I didn't even have to go diving in the dumpster. So there you go. And it opened up more room over here. So there's not much as, as much fighting going on like, amongst the locks. But uh, they still do. They'll push each other off the ledge. So. Um, hope everyone's having a good time. Happy picking. And enjoy your weekend.